marry me, you marry me, you marry me, hello, will you marry me, you take me out of danger, I know I will marry you, I marry you, I marry you, I know I will marry you, for why you are a stranger, why didn't you tell me so, why didn't you tell me so, why didn't you tell me so, before you did the harem, what harem did you do, what harem did you do, what harem did you do, but only in the harem. Take me out of danger, and no way will marry you, I'll marry you, I'll marry you, and no way will marry you, for why you are a stranger. Why didn't you tell me so? Why didn't you tell me so? Why didn't you tell me so? What the devil ailed you? How would I tell you so? How could I tell you so? For if I did, there isn't a doubt, I never could again Thank you. 
I was king of Erin's Isle, had all things at me will. I would roam throughout creation, new comforts to find still. And the comfort I would seek the most, you all may understand. Would be to gain lovely Martha, the flower of sweet Straban. Her cheeks, they are like the roses red, and her eyes are a lovely brown. And over her lily white shoulders Her hair comes tumbling down She is one of the fairest creatures And famous is her clan And me heart is fairly captured by the flower of sweet Straban. And if I had you, Martha, way down in in a shown, or in some lonesome valley, of the wild woods of Tyrone, I would use me whole endeavour, and I'd strive to work me plan for to gain me prize and feast me eyes. On the flower of sweet Straban. <laughs> Thank you.
the banks of red roses, me love, and I sat down, and I took out me fiddle for to play me love a tune in the middle of the tune. Oh, she sighed and she said, Oh, me Johnny, lovely Johnny, would you leave me? Oh, when I was a young girl, I heard me mother say that I was a foolish lass and easy led astray. And before that I would work, I would sooner sport and play with me Johnny on the banks of red roses. Well, he took her to his lodge, and he treated her to tea, saying, drink me, dearest Molly, and come along with me, saying, drink me, dearest Molly, and come along with me to the sweet and lonely land. It was both long and sharp, and he plunged it right into his own dear man's heart, and he plunged it right into his own dear Mary's heart, and he left her lying low among the rocks.
Fell in love with Barbara Allen. Get up, get up, her mother says. Get up and go and see him. Oh, mother dear, do you not mind the time that you told me how to slight him? Get up, get up, her father says. Get up and go and see him. Oh, father dear, do you not mind the time that you told me how to shun him? Slowly, slowly she got up and it slowly she puts on her. Slowly she went to his bedside and slowly looks upon him. You're lying low, young man, she says, and almost near a dying. One word from you would bring me to, if you be Barbara Allen. One word from me you never will get, nor any young man breathing for the better of me. You never will be, though your heart's blood was a spilling. Look down, look down at my bed foot. It's there you'll find them lying, bloody sheets and bloody shirts. I sweat them for you, Alan. Look up, look up to my bed head, and there you'll find them hanging. My gold watch and my gold chain, I bestow them to you, Alan. 
as she was gone home to her father's house. She heard the death bell ringing, and every clap that the death bell gave, it was woe be to you, Alan. As she was gone home to her mother's hall, she saw the funeral coming, lay down, lay down that weary corpse, till I get looking on him. She lifted the lid up off of the corpse, and uh, burst it out with laughing, and all his weary friends around cried hard hearted Barbara Allen. She went into her mother's house, make my bed long and narrow for the death. Bell did ring for my true love today. It will ring for me tomorrow. Out of one grave there grew a red rose. Out of the other a briar. And they both twisted into a true lover's knot, and they remain forever. <laughs> ¶¶